Jones. Could you do something with these bottle caps? Hey guys, so if you are anything like me, then you drink a ton of beer and you hang on to bottle caps because you think you're going to do something creative with them later on in the future. Well, uh, for those of you who are like me, I've got a solution and one that might make your wife happy. Who knows? As you can see, there are plenty of things to do with bottle caps uh, with the proper know-how. What I'm going to show you is a particular program that helps you create some of these uh, master works of art. So for those of you with a Mac, Google Mac Mosaics, and as the name suggests, it is a mosaic program. Uh, I believe that it is a free download, or at least there is a free trial period for 30 days, and then it may be paid after that. Uh, but pretty basic program, and we'll look into it right now. What this program is designed to do is render a user-defined photo with photos from a user-defined album. It's very simple, and you've probably seen it multiple times uh, before. We're kind of tricking the system. We're not really tricking it, but... And we're going to use photos of bottle caps in order to render an image that the user wants. Okay, first step is to organize your bottle caps uh, into groups uh, so that you know how many roughly of each bottle cap that you have. Then what you're going to want to do is either take pictures of those, all of your different bottle caps, or Google images of your bottle caps. Once you have all the pictures of all your bottle caps, then you want to save a picture of each bottle cap in at least four different orientations. So up, down, left, and right. Uh, for those of you who have a lot of bottle caps and want to do a very intricate image, then go ahead and save it in eight different directions. The reason that we're going to do that is because the program is going to take each photo and organize the photo of the bottle cap in the best way that it knows how to create the image that you select for it. Okay, so I've got my photos of all my bottle caps and I've got them organized all into a folder that I'll call bottle caps. Now I need to select the image that I want and I'm going to select Bill the Goat. I download that image and then I click on the original image in the top left of the window and I select it from my downloads. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to change the settings for the tiles that are gonna make up the image. And when I say tiles, I mean the images, the bottle caps. I'm gonna change them to hexagonal shape uh, as opposed to a normal four by three aspect ratio uh, like a normal picture might be. I change it to that, that hexagonal shape because that's how my bottle caps are gonna be oriented. Uh, once I've done that, and I got about a one-to-one -one ratio. I knew I needed 41 bottle caps down to make the resolution that I wanted. And I hit OK. And now it's time to pick the folder where all of my bottle cap images are stored. You can see that I've got all my bottle cap images right here. I'll hit open and that will then begin to populate and render the image. I sped up this screen capture because depending on how powerful your machine is, this could take a, a few minutes. But hopefully what you can see here is the program thinking and orienting the bottle caps to best fit the image it's trying to render. So once that's done, I take a screen capture of the rendered image and then I just print it out. With my printed image and my organized bottle caps, I can now start assembling my bottle cap mosaic. 
Now there's some good news and there's some bad news. The good news is I gotta drink a lot more beer in order to finish this mosaic. The bad news is a lot of that beer, as you may notice, is Michelob Ultra. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you again next time.